yeah, all the underlay. It's all soaking wet. Not the start of the gib that we wanted, to be honest. We had to take Miranda into um, Kununurra Hospital last night. All right. Well, it is appendicitis, and Miranda's getting a raw flying doctor service uh, flight out the room to get surgery. All right. Well, what a day that turned out to be. It's uh, 20 past five, and me and the kids are headed back to camp. Just fueled up the car, picked up a coffee, and I was filling up the car. And I heard a plane coming across and I had a look and yeah, it was the uh, Royal Flying Doctor Service car. And just as a side, like, what a service those guys provide. Um, they get a tiny amount of government funding, I think, but most of it's um, donations and uh, like charities and stuff. So, yeah, it staggers me that it's not properly funded by the government, but anyway, what a service they perform. Quite a big day. Um, we're just hanging around the hospital and then the uh, the airport for a fair bit, waiting for all the patient transfers. But Miranda got on safely, so I dare say maybe there. tomorrow afternoon she'll be at a resort in Broome, sipping a cocktail somewhere, telling us not to worry about her. Good morning, Bugaboo. How are you? Pardon? You want mummy? You want mummy? I know. It's weird not having mummy here, isn't it? Strange. Hmm? It's alright, Mummy's okay. She's at the hospital at the moment. She's getting her surgery today. And she'll recover for a few days and then she'll be back and we'll be on our way. In the meantime, it's the daddy show. You want to go to Amelia Gorge today? You don't? You want to stay around and do schoolwork? No? Oh, they're your two options. How about we do both? Well, Miranda's probably in surgery right now, so it's a little bit of distraction therapy. Um, Jacqueline's missing Miranda a fair bit, obviously. Um, so we're gonna hit Amelia Gorge. Am Amelia Gorge? Amelia Gorge? Amelia. Yeah, it's 3.4K return, but it's great for, um, so it's quite, <laughs> quite rocky, like I just tripped over one. Um, quite rocky and rugged, but you're rewarded with a 32 meter waterfall and swimming hole at the end. This waterfall, I was reading, Camo, mm -hmm. it's quite different to the other waterfalls in El Cuestro. All the other ones are fed by um, like natural springs. Yeah. This one's actually um, not fed by a spring. It's yeah. basically wet season water and it can dry out in oh. July and August. So oh. we will still see the waterfall because everyone who we've spoken to says it's run and it's fantastic. So it's probably gonna take us an hour, Good. maybe, to get there, maybe a little bit longer. They reckon allow four hours, was it, Cam? Uh, 2.5 hours without a swim. Oh, sorry, they allow 2.5 2 hours without a swim, but we'll probably do 2.5 hours with a swim, snacks, water bottles. <laughs> we haven't got the old lady with the dodgy hip. <laughs> <laughs> so we might be done in an hour. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Miranda's missing out on a real treat here. Um, we're 1.3 k's in. We're not that far from the final waterfall. Um, but up until this point, it's been breathtaking. And we've passed a few people along, passed a few people along the way, and every single one of them it says, just you wait till you get there. You think this is good? Wait till you get there. So I'm super excited about that.
we're actually on our way to a, a lookout at the moment on a full drive track called Pigeon Lookout. It's about 20 minutes from our campsite. Uh, we tried to call Miranda a couple of times. She's um, she's not answering, so she's probably in recovery. Her um, procedure must have been delayed, so I just thought we'd take the kids out for a little bit of a um, little bit of a drive and a look. Apparently, this lookout's meant to be awesome for sunset. Um, yeah, so after here, we'll probably go back, go up to the bar for a, a cheeky little soft drink. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll whip up some um, burritos for dinner. How good's this, eh? Hey? Just spoke to your mum. She's super sore, super tired, super nauseous. She just slept all afternoon, but that's all good. So she'll probably be discharged tomorrow. Right now, you guys want to go up and get a soft drink? Yeah. Happy hour? Yeah. Oh, well, good morning everyone. So just a little update with Miranda. Um, she's been kept in hospital, Groom Hospital, all day today. And then they're releasing her tomorrow. And today, I'm taking the kids out again. We're going to Emma Gorge. So we need to leave um, the homestead. So 16K dirt track back onto the highway, a couple of Ks back along the main road. And then we go into uh, Emma Gorge. Apparently it's quite spectacular. A Little bit of a walk. But you know, we got to keep busy. Got to keep the bit. Uh, got to keep the kids amused and engaged and all this sort of stuff. I feel you know bad, obviously, for Miranda missing out on a lot of this place. But the show must go on, I suppose, as they say. You know, just super thankful for you know this Royal Flying Doctor service. You know, being able to get Miranda to the help that she needs. Anyway. Enough of the chit chat, me and the kids heading to Emma Gorge now, so we'll catch you when we're there. So this is 1.6k one way, 3.2 return. So 1.6 there, I've been told that the first half, 800 meters or so, was in the sun, and then the second half you're in the shade with a uh, spectacular swim at the end near the waterfall. Well, certainly doesn't disappoint. I guess we'll just we'll lay low um, you know tomorrow morning, morning yeah. and yeah, yeah we won't take off anywhere so we're in um, reception range and then we'll speak to you then okay uh, okay All right. I'll All speak right, to you I'll tomorrow see. rest up okay, I'll talk to you. yeah thanks All right, love you love you too see ya bye, bye. bye. alright so the um, the logistics of Miranda's appendicitis is, is Bitten us on the bum a little bit. In hindsight, the best thing that me and the kids probably should have done was drive to Broome. Um, but we hung around here. Um, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't, to be honest. But her surgical team was just telling her that um, it was a little bit worse than initially thought because the appendix, because it was quite inflamed, it actually connected um, to one of the other organs that they actually had to cut away as well. So they want her to remain close to uh, a medical facility, whether in Broome or up in Kununurra. So if she gets released tomorrow, um, she might spend a night in Broome and then fly to Kununurra and be close 
to that hospital. You know, you don't want to be in the middle of the gym, especially after your surgical team says not to. Um, <clears throat> so we're probably going to be packing up, me and the kids, tomorrow, maybe the next day, depending on Miranda's movements. And we'll be going to Kununara, staying there for a few nights, get Miranda back to 100%. We'll stock up when we're there and then start our gib adventure again. We'll just blow straight past El Questro, obviously, because we've already come here. Anyway, it is what it is. Now, it's been a hot, stinky, sweaty day in here. We've done a big gorge walk, me and the kids. They've done some schoolwork. It's super hot in the camper, so we're going to go for a swim now. And that'll be it until tomorrow. Yeah. So I'll catch up. Well, good afternoon, everyone. So, this is basically the first time the camera's been out today. Um, <clears throat> me and the kids have basically done nothing. We've hung around El Questro all day. We've been down to the uh, little swimming hole a couple of times. Spoke to Miranda earlier, and she's absolutely shattered. So, she's been feeling pretty rough for the best part of six days. She's been sleeping in a hospital environment for five. Right, she did get checked out today. She's got herself booked into the REC uh, resort in Broome. She's got two nights there in a cabin by herself. So she's gonna get, hopefully, two really good night's sleeps and just rest and recuperate uh, before she flies back to Kununara on Tuesday. And me and the kids have just been laying low today. I've started packing up the awnings down, the mats down, the tables and chairs are all packed away. Just because tomorrow morning we're packing up, going back to Kunners. Uh, to meet Miranda there. Uh, we'll be there for a couple of nights, but I'm basically going to be setting up or packing up and then setting up by myself. So I just wanted to make it easier um, for tomorrow morning's pack up. So we've just been pottering around the campsite basically all day. And the kids are really missing their mum. They haven't seen her in almost a week. And uh, Miranda's missing us as well. You guys looking forward to seeing your mum? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a little bit hard on them, especially Jack, and she gets quite upset. But I told the kids I'm going to treat them to a meal out at the pub tonight. So okay. we're going to go and get a restaurant meal. What do you think about that, guys? Yeah. Pretty good. You all right, Jacqueline? Mm -hmm. right. We'll see Mummy in a couple of days. Anyway, kids are just finishing off their diaries. Just started. <laughs> just started to finish off their diaries, and we're going to go and get dinner. All right. We'll catch you later. Mum's playing, guys. Yay. You excited? Yeah. yeah. Hi. 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 Yeah, you too. Oh, oh so good to see you, too. The Gib River Road Adventure starts again. <laughs> Gib River 2.0. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. I don't think we have come to a more peaceful place on this entire trip. Yeah.